Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog Where To. Today we talk about the do's and don'ts in your camper van van life trip. Why I'm doing that video? Because it's a little bit more serious than the other stuff. The last trip I did was just a few weeks ago and I just traveled through Europe and what I discovered is more and more places are prohibited. That means we are not allowed anymore to take our camper vans to that places. Even if you want to park there during the day, it's completely prohibited to park a camper van. And this is because of the behavior of the people. They're just parking their camper vans close to the beach so that no one else can park. They just park straight, don't park in the park lines. They park straight so they have the best view. Van life is more and more popular, more and more people come and they all want to have the best places for their pictures, for everything. But they don't care about other people most and that is a really big problem and we're getting more and more targeted by the police. I arrived to places where I've been before and it was like the police immediately arrived and told me hey you cannot park here, you cannot stand here and when you want to sleep here we will give you a fine like four or five hundred euros or dollars and uh, that is what I discovered more and more. The, the places I've been before which are so super nice and beautiful it's not possible anymore to stay there. So I get my first camper van and I just went on to the next country and just slept there in the nature, enjoyed the nature and uh, the thing which happened in the last years is there are more and more people enjoying that van life which is a good thing so it's like it means we are all enjoying the nature we want to be one with nature we are staying in the mountains we are staying close to the beach so we want to enjoy the nature some go for surf some go for hiking or climbing mountain biking fishing it doesn't matter what you do when you are van lifing it means going back to the roots living as simple as possible in a small van enjoying the nature be one with the nature this is for most of the people the thing why they do van life or camper van trips. The last weeks I've been on an awesome trip through Europe. So I traveled the whole coast of Spain, Gibraltar, Portugal and France and uh, I've discovered a lot of new super good spots for surfing, for camping, for everything. But the thing which I can see in the last years is there are more and more people doing surfing, doing hiking, climbing and using a camper van for it. I've been to Portugal and there was a wave. It was amazing and there was a parking space just in front of the beach. I arrived there like four or five years ago I've been there the first time and it was like it was kind of empty there were five six vans people were surfing just regular cars so now there are 50 to 80 camper vans means in every camper van all mostly are two or three people inside living there and all the people have to pee and go for a shit yeah that's what we have to do and the thing is most of the people don't have any toilets in their camper van means when they need to go to the toilet they're just going somewhere in the nature just close to the parking space and just pee there and shit there and leave their toilet paper in there. That means if you have 50 camper vans, two people inside, it's 100 people going minimum two or three times a day to a place, pee there, sometimes go there for a shit and just leave it all there. You're stepping out of your camper van, you just arrived and the first step you do, you have to look down to step in shit or pee. And that is more and more and more and more. Everywhere I've been there are more and more camper vans and the people don't care about it. On that parking space it was like everywhere you looked just to the corners of that parking space there was shit, there was some plastic waste, there was some empty beer cans, there was some wine bottles, there was everything and uh, there are people which are having a really well build a camper van mostly from a manufacturer so there's everything inside there's a toilet inside there's a shower inside those people normally just uh, carry their old water and their toilet stuff all in the camper van and bring it somewhere to empty it but most of the van life people nowadays they are just in a very very back to the roots simple life camper van where it's nothing inside just the bed maybe some gas cooking place and that's it so most of them just go to the nature for a pee for a shit leave their toilet paper there 
and they say hey it's just me it's not so many people yeah it's maybe it's just you but then there's your girlfriend or your friend he's doing the same maybe half an hour later and then there are 50 camper vans more and they all do it and everywhere you look there's toilet paper and shit it smells it is disgusting what can I do you can do for example Take a plastic bag in your van, shit inside your plastic bag, put it into the trash. Yeah, it's not that nice, but it's better than destroy the nature. Or buy a camping toilet, so you, can, you can go on your toilet and empty it somewhere on a camping site or on some gas stations. That's the better way than to destroy the nature. You're camping and you use water in your van, for example, to, to clean the dishes. Most of the people say, yeah, we are so close to the nature, we don't want to live in the system anymore, we just... The nature people, yeah, the nature people, most of them, I discovered that they just clean their dishes with fresh water and dish soap and just put it into the nature when they are finished. So it means you destroy hundreds of square meters of soil just because you push some uh, put some dish soap into the nature. And no, it's not just you or maybe the, your neighbors. It's a lot of people only on, and that one camping uh, parking space I've seen. They all put it into the nature using dish soap, a lot of foam on it, putting it into the nature. Many people and many nature is getting destroyed by that behavior. There is dish soap which is sustainable and you can use it and put it into nature. Even that I recommend you don't put it into the nature, go somewhere else, clean your dishes in there and don't put it in the nature. There are hundreds and thousands of people which do it every day and there are more and more and more every year. That means in the future there will be so much more van life and all the people putting their old water in the nature, shitting in the nature or that van life thing is about sitting there at night, have a chat, making a bonfire, drinking some beers, drinking some wine or other alcoholic stuff. And then in the next morning you wake up and there's that bonfire still glowing and there's one beer can and one wine bottle next to another. And I often see people which just wake up, take their car and go to another spot because the wave there is a lot better than the place they have been last night but they don't take their rubbish, their trash and put it somewhere. And that is not how we have to treat our nature. It means like being one with nature and today it's more like that van life thing most people i can see they arrive and they put their instagram on and make the pictures i i do it by myself as well yes but i always look that the nature is the same when i will leave than i arrive and nowadays it's more the people are just enjoying the sun enjoying the beach enjoying the mountains enjoying the forest but when they leave it's like a big big mess what they left there and uh, that is what I don't think it is okay because there are more and more people coming more and more people want to surf more and more people want to mountain bike or hike or climb or whatever and uh, they built their camper van which is cool but then the places are more and more crowded everywhere it's almost impossible in Europe to find places which are not really crowded or where you can be alone so what does it mean it means just build your own toilet or just use a plastic bag as a toilet and put it somewhere into the trash or empty your toilet somewhere. When you wash your dishes try not to use dish soap. Yeah, it's not that nice but it's better for the nature. If you don't have a place where you can wash your dishes then just try to use water. If there's some food waste in your water just put it in the nature there's no problem but if you use dish soap it's pretty bad for the nature, for the animals, for everything. There is dish soap which is sustainable, which you can put into nature, but even that dish soap is not good for nature. If you go for a shower, just use shower gel, which is not bad for nature, or use nothing at all for a few days and then go to a camping site and go for a real shower in there. But don't use shower gel or put any chemical stuff into the nature, it will destroy it. And in the next years, the van life thing will be more and more prohibited. That is what I discovered on my last trip. I do it since I told you a few years and in the beginning it was everywhere allowed to stay. But now there are more and more places where you can see signs. It's prohibited to, to um, sleep here, to camp here, to stay in a camper van or even to park a camper van during the day. The people which live in that small towns close to the beach, to the forest, to the mountains discover that the people which arrive in a camper van make a big mess every time and it's getting bigger and bigger and more and more and more. So it's more and more prohibited 
for us camper guys to use that places and live that van life and it's not because we are just so much because there are a lot of other cars and they can park there it's no problem only the camper vans because the people like i told you just leave a big mess and the people which live in that small nature areas they don't like how the foreign tourists or even the people from the same country treat that areas and i can understand that absolutely when you are living close to the beach and there's a small parking space in front of the beach and every day there are 10 to 20 to 30 camper vans and they all shit into the nature leave their beer cans their wine bottles everywhere there's glass there is like old trash everywhere it smells everywhere like pee and shit you won't enjoy it as well you won't say hey what is about that guys why do they come here just enjoy two days at the beach make everything dirty and then they leave and uh, you would also say hey please please guys enjoy the nature but be one with the nature and leave the places like you found them i think that's the most important advice just leave the place like you found it before and no one will say anything to you so we long-term campers or van lifers we want to enjoy the nature and the future as well we want to go for camping we want to enjoy the freedom but it will be all destroyed because we are a big target at the moment and please 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 don't put the waste everywhere this is really important for us and important for the world and everyone i hope I could uh, tell you something and you think about it. See you next time guys.